take this cover off, just use a trim tool, get behind here. Pop that up. There's three clips that hold that on. This vehicle has manual crank windows. You're gonna need a special tool like this. Slide it in between the little washer and the handle. And you slide it up. And it just pops that clip out. You can pop that clip back on for when you reinstall it. Pop this cover off right here. You can either use a pick, a straight blade screwdriver, or a trim tool. Just slide that off. And there's another cover right here. The same thing. Just use a pick, get underneath. And just pop it out. A couple of clips that hold that on. Take the lock knob off, just use a pick. There's a little retainer right here that you just try to slide it out. Once it's out that far, then you can slide it up. Use a 10 millimeter socket and take the bolt out here. And there's two in there behind the handle. Now there's push pins all the way around the perimeter of the door. Just take a trim tool, just get in behind and just pop it out. And when they're all popped out, just slide the panel up and out. Take some needle nose pliers, just get behind here. Try to pinch the cable. I'll show you once I get it out. just slides out like that. It just, this little ball slides up. When you're trying to get the cable out, you just pinch these two little ears and then it slides out and then the ball slides up. Make sure the window's up if you have to put the crank on just to crank the window up and slide this vapor barrier out of the way. You can just peel it or you can take a razor blade and try to cut it. Be careful not to rip it. Now we're going to disconnect this rod right here. This is the one attached to the yellow clip. You just grab behind the clip. And this is what opens the door. And then just slide that clip out like that and slide the rod away. And then the other rod goes up to where the lock cylinder is. You have to go up to that lock rod and you have to push it towards the outside of the door and unattach it from the lock. that popped off. That's loose. Take this grommet off. Slide that out of the way. And this cable. And just slide that out of the way. I'm going to disconnect this wire. If you struggle trying to get this off, you can take the latch off first and then disconnect it. Um, just take a straight blade screwdriver or a pick.
just slide it underneath. Slide this out. Oops. Close this a little. So how this is attached is this is down. You get the screwdriver under here, under this clip, and just slide up. As you're sliding up, it's disconnecting the connector. Take a T30 socket and take these three bolts out. And grab the latch and just slide it down. We're going to twist it around the regulator. Just like that. And slide it out. Now you want to transfer these lock rods over to the new handle or the new latch. Just slide this out like this. You just twist it out a little bit. Transfer it over to the new one, just line it up, and then twist it, and then same with this one, just wiggle it back and forth a little bit, slide it out, take it over to the new one, and slide it back in, and just twist it a little bit. There you go. You want them both facing upwards just like this. Now just slide this through. Wrap the cable around the regulator and just twist. Again, make sure those, those rods are going upwards. You want this one to come through here. Might have to work that one a little bit. There we go. And line it up over here. And get the bolt started. And just snug these up. And slide this cable back the way it was and connect the connector. You can try to feel around. Push it on and then push down on the latch part. That's good. Take this grommet and slide it over the lock rod. And double check, make sure that works. Leave it unlocked. Now take the rod that attaches to the lock cylinder. You need to line that up with the lock cylinder. There's a little like clamp that you have to get the rod through the center of it. It's a little red clamp. Kind of hard to see. It's lined up and just pull it towards the center of the vehicle and it should clip in. That looks good. You could double check with the key, just make sure it locks and unlocks. And the rod with the yellow clip, you're going to line that other rod up. Push it in and then close the clip. Make sure it latches. And you can double check that as well. Now take the vapor barrier, line everything up. Make sure this cable comes out here. And re-stick it down. 
If it doesn't stick, you can use some more butyl tape. That's good. Now line the door panel up. Take the rod, slide the ball in place, and then lock the cable in, just like that. Line the lock rod up. Get the top part of the door panel started. There we go. And that's lined up. Then push it back in. Push all the push pins in. Now install the bolts. And the bolts behind the handle. Put the lock button on, just make sure this lock rod is up. Slide it in position. And push that little lock tab down. Make sure it works. Put this cover back on. Take this cover, line it up. Lock it down. And make sure the handle has the clip in place. Take the little washer that goes on the outside and try to line the handle up the same direction where it was when you took it off. And line this cover up, lock it down.